In Mexico, along with sunbathers and white sand beaches, a new image emerging, armed troops protecting one of the country's most important resources, tourists. Mexico beefing up its security following a string of violent attacks, the latest just two days ago, sending terrified vacationers, including Americans, fleeing for cover. Everybody started scrambling and screaming and crying. Witnesses say armed attackers appeared on jet skis in the middle of Cancun's hotel zone and, according to local authorities, opened fire near several popular resorts. Zane Jones was resting in his hotel room when the shots rang out. His wife and two kids were at the pool. Instantly, the adrenaline hit me, and it was just like, figure out where they are, make sure they're safe. You're thinking about cutting your, your trip short at this point because of what happened? Absolutely. The Mexican government recently ramping up reinforcements in the popular tourist haven of Quintana Roo, which includes Cancun and Tulum. Deploying more than 1,400 National Guardsmen on December 1st, but it wasn't enough to stop the terrifying incident on this beach. And now some Americans thinking about traveling to Mexico may be reconsidering after a series of violent incidents there recently. Last month, frightened tourists and staff sheltered in a Cancun hotel after police say suspected drug dealers opened fire on the beach. And in October, two tourists were killed in nearby Tulum during a reported shootout between gangs. An updated State Department travel advisory put in place yesterday urges increased caution due to crime in Mexico's Quintana Roo state. When someone comes to you and says, I'm worried about my safety after something like this, what do you advise them? The government has already taken drastic measures by putting armed guards in, in military fatigues on the beach is something that perhaps should instill some confidence to a certain degree. A literal army now guarding one of Mexico's top tourist attractions. The travel experts say there's a few things you can keep in mind to try to be extra safe. One of them, guys, is to stick with name brand hotels. They are more likely to have comprehensive security plans and more resources for you. You can stay near Cancun, a place like Mayacoba, for example, which is 20 or 30 minutes away, but not right in the middle of the action. And then you can enroll in the Smart Traveler Enrollment Program. That's a federal program that is for free, that provides you with resources in the event of an emergency. So this can be done safely. You don't necessarily need to abandon those visions of margaritas on the beach. <laughs> Back to you guys. Good tip, Sam. Thank yeah. you. Hey, thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Find your favorite recipes, celebrity interviews, uplifting stories, shop our favorite deals, and so much more with the Today app. Download it now.